This AQ! AQ! And the baby's coming out. Fellas, again, focus on yourself. That's what it is. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy AQ, and I'm back with another reaction video for you guys today. And today we're going to do a reaction video. Uh, this woman is looking for a man and he got to have a car, a job and his own place. Let's jump right into the video. Change my ear, okay? Okay. Give me one second. I made it two. I was in at Dallas Cowboys. I'm in Dallas. What's your name, baby? My name's Casey. Hey, fool, I didn't got to chase the air again. It's still on. I thought I turned it off. One more time. Give me one second. Okay. I thought I turned the air off, but it didn't turn off. All right. Did it turn off now? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now it's off. All right. What's your name, baby? My name's Casey. Casey. Casey, where are you calling me from? I'm calling you from Dallas. Oh, my God. Come out tomorrow night. I'm in Dallas. So, I actually am coming out, but me and my friend, we got tickets, but by the time we seen it and it let us know that you got, that it was going on, it was only tickets available for men. So, come anyways. Listen. Okay, because I, I, still, I still got it. Yeah. I was like, I'm still going to No, you can still life. come. Listen, essentially, it is sold out, but if, just tell them you kids your cousin at the door. They'll let you in. Okay, perfect. Me and my <laughs> so, friend. So, yeah, essentially, it's sold out, but... Still come anyways if you're not RSVP. Just say, Kendra, I'm Kendra Cousin, and let's pray where you know how black people do. Just come on, child. That's come exactly tomorrow. what I'm going to do. All right. <laughs> Casey, how old are you? I'm 29. 29. What you do for a living? Um, I'm an office manager, and I do event planning. Office manager. Do you have any kids? Yes, I have one. I have a son. He's seven. A son of uh, seven. Have you ever been married? No, I haven't. Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Virgo. Virgo. And you're in Dallas, Texas. Yes. Okay. Hey, Dallas. So we got Casey, Dallas, Texas, 29 Virgo, office manager, mom to a seven-year-old, never married. What kind of man are you looking for, boo? Okay, so I'm looking for um just a little God fearing for one. I'm looking for a gentleman, someone who's down to earth. Funny, good sense of humor, knows how to treat a woman, family oriented, and just the all around, just good guy, really. Okay. What are your deal breakers? I'd say bad hygiene, messed up teeth, no, not good teeth, and um, no car, no job, and no house of their own. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Yeah, um, I'm gonna say over six feet, over six oh, feet, and over um, six feet, so he can't be six feet. No, well, six feet are up. Okay. okay, how tall are you, Casey? I'm five ten. Okay. okay, so I understand because yes. you're tall. Yes. So over six feet. Yes. Yes. Um, and then I prefer brown, but I'm open. I'm open. Okay, brown, but you're open. Black? As do you mean yes. brown as in black? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, what about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? Um, not for that, because I know the cousin's going to eat me up. They be getting at everybody. So it's different for everywhere that people live, you know, because I just moved from California. So 100000 in California ain't shit, but you can maybe do a little something with that in Dallas. So I'm not going to put a certain number on it, but I would say that. And going back to my deal breakers, like they'd have to have their own job, own place, own car, and be able to provide for themselves. So be able to, you know, live freely, be able to travel when they want, do what they want, and just live comfortably. But I'm not going to put a certain number on it. I'm not going to put a number on it. Okay, got you. So we got Casey, Dallas, Texas, 29. Virgo, office manager, mom to a seven-year-old, never married. Let's do the kids or cam. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me set up. I don't have, um, let me get, hold on. Let me get it 
together. I was in my pajamas. Kendra, I just want oh. to say hi. I hi. put her hi. on to your show. Hi. This is my mama. Hey, mama. Thank you, mama. Of course. We love you in this house. Oh, I, love so I just want you guys back. That. Thank you, baby. Just a moment. Okay, you got to Fellas, if you want to know if a woman is a bird, meet her mother. If a mom is a bird, she's a bird too. Never forget that. And I'm, I'm just saying, it's just funny that her mom put her on to the show. <laughs> like, why is your mom so invested in a show like this? This is interesting, man. Yeah, I can't see. Oh, my God. Okay. She can't see, Kendra. Let me, um, <laughs> <laughs> let me flip this for it. Okay. Can they see me? Okay, there we go. Are you in shorts? Yeah, I am. Sorry, I have my pajamas okay. on. Let me see you, mama. Yes. Okay, boo. So we got KT, Dallas, Texas, 29. What's the age range you want to date? Um, I'm going to say between 30 and 38. Between 30 and 38. Okay. So we got KT, Dallas, Texas, 29, Virgo, office manager, mom to a seven-year-old, never married. When was your last relationship? Um, It was, I'd say damn near about six, five or six years ago. Okay. You've been single for five or six years. It's over. There's no saving a bird like this, bro. She been in the streets for five to six years straight. Back, listen, man, back to back to back to back. Fam, <laughs> yo, that's down there six straight summers of her being in the streets. Do you understand how many different dudes ran through this chick, bro? It's impossible to save a woman who's been in the streets for five, six years, bro. You can't save her. She don't even know how to be a girlfriend. That's right. It's crazy. All right. Yeah. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? About two years ago. Two years ago. Mm -hmm. Three flaws you have to work on. All right, man. Let's just stop it. You see, like, when they start lying, bro, it, like, come on, man. You trying to tell me that you haven't had sex since two years ago? Fellas, pay attention to the signs, bro. The signs are always there. And then you got to wonder, damn, what happened with your baby father? Why he didn't want to be with you? That's where you got to start first. Like, you always got to wonder, okay, you got a kid. So why did that man leave? Why he didn't want to be with you? Why he didn't see you as a wife? Fellas, when it comes to these women, fellas, be wise out here, bro. And pay attention to the signs. The signs are always there.